What I'd like to discuss at the moment is the relationship between the value of a leveraged company and the value of an unleveraged company. And the relationship is follow, as follows. So we've got the value of a leveraged company. That's what that V subscript L is. And that's going to be equal to the value of an unleveraged company, that is a company without debt. And then we have a whole bunch of costs and benefits of debt. One of those benefits is the, the tax shield benefit of debt. So we take the present value of all those future um, tax shields and discount it back to today, and that's a benefit to the shareholders. But then we have things such as financial distress. Um, we also have things such as the disciplinary benefits of, of debt. Um, we have agency costs. And then we also have the loss of financial flexibility. Now, um, things such as the present value of the disciplinary benefits of debt or the agency cost increase or the loss of flexibility. So this one, this one, and this one, they're really hard to, to measure. Um, so I want to run through an example of how to, to think about this relationship between the value of a levered company and the value of an unlevered company by focusing on two costs and benefits. One of those is the tax shield benefits of debt, and the other one is financial distress. So let's run through an example. So suppose that we have um, a company and its current unvalued, or sorry, unlevered value is $1 million. So it has zero debt at the moment. The current marginal tax rate for that company is 21%, and we've got some sort of financial distress function. So uh, as companies take on more debt, it sort of makes sense that their cost or their expected cost of financial distress is going to increase. And so the, the financial distress function is down here. So the present value of financial distress is going to be this half million dollars, so $500,000 multiplied by the debt to value relation or er, uh, ratio. And so as more debt is piled on, um, the debt to value relation uh, ratio will increase and therefore the overall cost of financial distress will ex increase. So let's run through this, uh, this example real quick. So the value of a levered company in this particular case is going to be the value of the unlevered company plus the present value of the tax shield benefits of debt. And right now, this we're gonna assume that this is perpetual debt, and it says that right there in this example. And so uh, the complete formula, just for um, uh, clarity here, is going to be the tax rate times the cost of debt times the amount of debt. And we're treating this like a perpetuity um, and we're discounting that, or we're dividing that uh, perpetuity by the cost of debt. Now, we don't have to do that, but in this example, we are. Um, and the reason we're doing that is because you'll notice that, that this RD right there and that RD cancel out. So um, this is the tax shield benefits of debt. Now, we also have the cost of financial distress, which is this $500,000 times the debt to value relationship or ratio. So let's plug in some numbers in this particular example. So in this example, the company is interested in um, raising $250,000 of perpetual debt. Let's figure this out. So the value of this levered company is going to be its unlevered value. So that is a million dollars plus the tax rate, which is 21%, so 0 0.21 times the amount of debt it's raising, which is $250,000 minus the cost of um, financial distress or the expected uh, cost of financial distress, which is $500,000 multiplied by the debt to value ratio, which in this case is the $250,000 in debt raised divided by the value of the company, which is $1 million. And 
when we uh, plug this into Excel or plug this into your calculator or, or whatever, what we'll find is that the value of this leveraged company is $927,000, oh, $927,500. Now, relative to the unlevered company, which is worth a million dollars, adding leverage in this case actually reduces the overall firm value. And therefore, the company would not want to raise capital or raise, sorry, raise debt in this particular instance. Um, and the intuition here is the cost of financial distress outweighs the tax shield benefits of debt. So this is an example of uh, the relationship between the, the value of a levered firm and the value of an unlevered firm when we include the costs of financial distress.